uh, we're the, one of the education partners of Art Fair Philippines since 2017. Uh, we would like to acknowledge the other education partners, um, namely the Museum Foundation of the Philippines Incorporated and Tezos. Um, the audio parang may echo. Is it okay? Okay lang. Okay. Sorry. So um, even during the pandemic, the talks program continued online. Um, the digital mode allowed us to reach more audiences and um, even featured, easily featured uh, presenters from uh, overseas, no, from Spain. Uh, I remember we had um, a session that included a panel from North America, here in the Philippines, and um, other parts of the country. So the digital mode actually gave us flexibility, but there is nothing like doing it face to face. So we're glad to see everyone here on site. It's good to see the regular staff of Art Fair Philippines, especially the photographer who's been working with them for <laughs> years now. <laughs> okay, so um, to formally start the Art Fair program, uh, Art Fair Talks program, uh, this session, the first session will focus on three of the artists featured this year, namely Faya Bantao, Mark Andy Gar Garcia, and Peter Zimmerman. Uh, the distinct works of these artists construct new terrains, both real and imaginary. These featured artists, artists will talk about the concept of their special project for AFP 2023, and the new tra trajectories, or even the past, no, of their respective practices. Um, so first, to introduce our first presenter, uh, Faye Abantao is a visual artist born and raised in Bacolod Negros Occidental. Uh, she's largely self-taught. Uh, Faye collects and deconstructs archival prints and expands digital, uh, their imagery with a cluster of disciplines which include origami, digital collage, image transfer, and painting. In an overlapping sequence, uh, the string of procedures begins with a camera and culminates with paint and brushes, giving her imagery their distinct visual form. So, Faye? Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Faya Bantao. I'm a visual artist from Bacolod in Negros. Uh, I, prim I primarily work with paper, um, image transfer, and collage. Uh, I take photos to keep, to keep it and make it my own personal archive and, of course, to make it uh, my artwork. Um, my my um, primary um, medium in painting, uh, in mixed media, is uh, folded paper. Uh, for my presentation in the special projects, um, entitled Don't Forget to Remember, it consists of six uh, doors as with assemblage inside. Uh, each door is a reminder of a distinct memory uh, when I was growing up and a uh, collection of ephemera and um, with family ephemera through the years. So the doors are like portals when you open them and you go through the um, hallway, the doorways in the exhibition. Um, you don't know what's behind every door. So when you open them, it's like a surprise. That's when we were setting up the doors. Um, the images used for the works were 
um, family archive photos. So they were scanned images from my mom, from my grandmom and dad, um, and even friends. Uh, those were letters, photographs, phone bills, and um, from albums. Um, each panel inside the door were also image transferred uh, with a particular pattern. Uh, so each pattern would resonate in each artworks inside. Um, an example of a, of a pattern inside the door is a Santan uh, flower. It would uh, remind me of my childhood because I would uh, see them growing outside our house. Um, another door would uh, also have a uh, bird flower of my parents, which is a uh, carnation. And the letters they would write each other would be imposed there. My work here without a why is a core memory of growing up as a child seeing picture frames around the house. Um, this work, You Only See Darkness When You Run Away, is uh, my own personal memory of my favorite places from my travels. Beyond the Walls Of is a personal memory of me during my time in school. It's presented like a shelf, like those magazines and books in a library. That's what I was saying, the um, background, the pattern inside the door. It's a flower in the letters. Um, this door is uh, entitled Solace Gets Us Through the Loneliest Days. It's a memory of my parents and my grandparents writing letters to each other wh while, my, while both my dad and my, grand, my grandfather um, were living and working abroad. So they would write letters to my mom and to my lola who was here in the Philippines. And the, the letters were um, reproduced uh, and was folded into origami cranes and was also used in the patterns. There's a hidden painting behind the wedding photo. Uh, Turning Pages is a work uh, about memories of birthdays and uh, celebrations with family and friends. That's the Santan pattern. Forget Me Not is a memory of my lawless diary with dates, of, with dates written on it and turns out to be, uh, the dates written on the diary turns out to be um, birthdays of his children and his apos. So the dates in the calendars were encircled and, uh, and it was uh, birth important events. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Faye. Uh, just for your information, all the special projects are actually across this tent. So if you wish to see the actual works. Uh, so um, we'll move on to um, the second presenter, Mark Andy Garcia. Um, his work has been labeled as intuitive, naive, gestural, and expressionist. The marks and textures on the canvases leave evidence on the painter's hand, presence, and persona. Um, painting for Garcia is a reflective practice, painfully honest at times. 
without having to retell his experiences on his canvases, landscapes, flowers, and figures in interiors become representations of the inner self. Oil paint, uh, his medium of choice, becomes a substance for inscribing his seasons, joys, uh, crisis, or moments of gratefulness, all the while acknowledging the relationship um, of the flesh to the eternal. It is in these ways that Garcia bridges the gap between faith and work in unexpected ways. So Mark, please. Hello, good morning. Joke lang. Good afternoon. Bigla ako, bigla ako na high blood. Hello, my name is Mark Andy Garcia, and I am just a typical painter. Makikita nyo lang ako kung saan saan na nakakape sa mga tayemik na coffee shop. Tapos ano tayemik mo? Ang ganon lang. <laughs> Natitensed ako, sorry. <laughs> si Faye, relax na relax kanina. Yan. Talking about uh, the process of my art. Paano ba yan? Ayan. Wala. Uh, ano lang, nilalakad lang ako minsan, tapos tumatakbo, tapos uh, nakikipagintuan sa mga kaibigan. Basically, ganyan lang naman yung, yung process ko eh. Tapos ano yan, tumutuklas ako ng bago, nag-observe. Tapos namamangha sa mga nakikita. Tapos nagpipainting. Uh, para sa akin, wala namang masyadong kakaiba doon. Tapos, uh, pero of course, very special sa akin yung, yung, yung panahon na ito na nakakapagsalita ako. Uh, sa, sa harap ng maraming tao. Kasi hindi ko ito palaging ginagawa. Pero para sa akin, ano ito eh. Uh, I, I still consider this a blessing. Uh, kasi hindi ko gift ito tapos da dahil uh, da ano ba yan chance, chance din ito na ma-acknowledge ko yung ano yung 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 gift sa akin yung gift sa akin ng Panginoon na mai-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung nalalaman ko about the concept tapos yung, yung exhibit ko entitled Countless Tries uh, which is the title of my of my first painting yan I have two paintings exhibited for this art fair, uh, seven by seven feet and, and seven by ten feet. Uh, uh, first, I, I want to credit uh, Mr. Norman Crisologo for the curator for for uh, for challenging me to create something beyond what I usually do. Because hindi ako talaga gumagawa ng mga ganyan na malalaki. Pero ito ito magandang chance to para maipakita ako yung ano. Kasi pag pag malaki painting para artist na artist kayo, di ba? Para kay painting, di ba? Na yeah, countless tries. Yeah, seven, seven by seven feet. Bibilisan ko lang kasi may konti lang eh, konti lang oras. For those who already familiar to some of my works, some of you may know that my paintings are very personal. Nagpipainting ako na ano na ng personal. Kasi ang hirap i kwento sa inyo kasi alam mo hindi naman tayo close. Tapos. Baka pag mag emotional ako, magtawanan kayo. Madalas na nakadedicate yung mga paintings ko sa mga tao na ano, na mga malalapit sa akin. Yan. Yan. Sa mga kaibigan, family. Yan. Tapos sa mga tao na nagmamahal, yung mga, may mga concerns, yung mga may pakialam. Basically, yun yung, yun yung gusto kong pag-alayan ng mga ng paintings ko. Eh. Parang gusto ko na nakikita nila na, na ma-appreciate lang nila yan. Masaya na ako kahit hindi ma-appreciate ng, ng marami. Tapos. Pero ngayon, sa may paintings ko ngayon, sa may, sa may project na ginawa ng art fair, nag-focus ako sa, ano, sa maging reflection lang ng sarili ko yung, yung paintings na, na, na lalabas. Uh, kasi kung makikita nyo, medyo malungkot. Kasi ganun eh. Uh, challenging kasi ano yan, may mga challenge na hinaharap araw-araw. Tapos uh, parang karugtong ito ng, ng exhibit ko nakaraan sa may silver lens chasing sunsets. Hi, kay, kay silver lens, kay Isa. Na, China, wala sila dito. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
uh, breaking down the main elements of my paintings. Number one, uh, landscape. Landscape kasi yung, ano, yung, yung typical na, na subject ng painting ko. It's, it's symbolic. Uh, usually, uh, usual subject of my paintings in, in searching for peace. Uh, sabi ni, ano, ni Gary Granada noon, sabi niya, ano, pag, pag sinabi daw peace, sa Tagalog daw nito ay, ano, ay tahan. Sa Tagalog. Mamaya, i, i, subukan kong i-discuss yung reference nito. And then, next, yeah, landscape. May, merong, merong falling man. Parang... Symbol siya ng, ng mga failures ko, mga disappointments, uh, sadness, anxieties, stress, uh, pressure. The pressure that I kept inside. And, uh, minsan kasi mahirap maging lalaki, hindi ko mas, ma, masabi lahat. Unlike sa mga, sa mga iba, ibang tao, ayokong sabihin yung babae. Pero pinipigilan ko minsan na maging emotional na para, maka, para ma, makapag-isip ako ng, ano, ng, ng logical, hindi emotional. Alam niyo yan. Mas, mas choice ko yan eh. Yan. Yan. Fall, the falling man. Yan. Dab, dab, yung pagtubo ng mga puno, the blossoming of trees, para sa akin, ano yan, uh, symbol yan ng, ng, although may mga disappointments, kasunod din yan ng mga, ano, ng, ng mga, ng kasabay ng mga negativities, yung pag-usubong naman ng, ng mga bagong kaisipan, mga opportunities. Mga, yan ang mga symbol. Tapos, ay, so, balik. Yeah, ta ta tapos mayroong road to nowhere, nowhere kasi mayroon mga daan diyan na hindi niyo mo alam kung saan papunta. M minsan ganyan eh, hindi ko alam kung saan ako pupunta kapag uh, maraming iniisip. Di ba? Tapos alam ko na mahirap minsan eh, magpainting ng mga ganyang klase pero hinaharap ko na lang. Kasi pag nagpe-painting ako minsan apektuhan din ako ng mga pinipainting ko eh. Kasi nga, very emotional yung mga, yan, yan in particular na painting na yan. Darating din yung time na may kukwento ko rin sa inyo lahat ng, ano, ng, ng, ng buong story niyan. Pero sa ngayon, ano, hanggang dyan lang muna. Pinitigilan ko eh. <laughs> Ito, in, in, in reference sa piece na sinabi ko kanina, na ang Tagalog niya ay na tahan, ang, ang, na, 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 na hindi niyo makikita sa kahit na anong book or, dic or dictionary, maliban sa, sa Bible. Ang, ang sabi sa may sa may Psalms 30 verse 5, sabi, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. To me, that's peace. Na, na yun sa Tagalog tahan. Tapos may second painting, 100 questions. Marami akong questions eh. Diba? Overall, makikita nyo kaagad na, na, yung, na yung gulo, alam niya sa manor ng pagkakapainting. Parang ano, parang ano yan, parang nakakalat yung mga, yung mga pintura, tapos yung mga stroke, Parang ang, ganun din, parang gawa ng adik. Di, ma, di maaintindihan. Tapos sabi nga ni, ano, ni, ni Gwen Bautista sa isang article, sinabi niya, pag lumalapit ka raw sa painting ko, para daw ka daw, para ka daw uh, nagduduela sa may, sa may mind ng isang overthinking. Di ba? Na, sa, sa madaling salita, para naguguluhan siya. <laughs> Tapos, 100 questions. I literally have 100 questions in my mind kasi... Ganun eh. Uh, pero okay lang sa akin kahit na hindi ko na yan masagot sa, sa ngayon. Parang hmm, sa akin, ganun talaga siguro. Di ba? Tapos, in, in search for peace na sasapat lang yan para, para makatulog lang ako sa gabi. Di ba? Masaya na ako sa ganun. Ayan. Y yan yung mga details ng paintings ko. Na, na, na pwede niyong tingnan mamaya sa may, sa may nakasabit sa gallery. Ayan. Ayan. Tapos na. Salamat sa pakikinig. May video pa pala na ipiplay na ginawa ng kaibigan namin. Kung paano yung process ko sa... Toink. Ayan.
Thank you, Mark Andy. Nakakatakot yung TV gumagalaw kanina. So, um, if Faye was um, parang presenting something very personal, sharing something very personal, Mark Andy was doing the same thing but perhaps a bit more uh, guarded no, with, with the, the stories. No? So uh, maybe we can ask some, them some questions later. Okay, for our last presenter, um, Mr. Peter Zimmerman, uh, a German artist who explores form and space through his paintings and site-specific installations. He studied at the State Academy of, the, of Fine Arts in Stuttgart from 1978 to 1983, and has since participated in numerous exhibitions uh, in Germany and internationally including several editions of Art Fair Philippines through Nunu Gallery. Um, he's best known for his epoxy resin paintings, which feature glossy, multi-layered, liquid-like shapes of rich colors. His work can be, can be found in numerous public and private collections, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, the Center Georges Pompidou in Paris, um, the artist lives and works in Cologne, Germany. Peter? So, hello, everybody. Um, unfortunately, I didn't um, do a too a good presentation of my work. So we just took some, um, some images we found um, uh, from my website. Um, so I, um, in order to explain my work, you know, I would like to talk a little bit how I started. And um, the first question when I was, um, when I was a young uh, artist uh, was uh, in how far um, texts and images relate. Um, so I, uh, one of my, I, ask, I always ask myself, um, are images like text you can read? And in, uh, in how far uh, is our perception pre-formulated uh, by, by text? So um, um, my first series of paintings I did was, um, I just painted book covers. And I took um, book covers of dictionaries or travel guides because that was a good um, metaphor for the, um, uh, for the fact that you always um, recognize what you already learned before. Um, and with this series, I also uh, found my material, which I'm working ever since which is uh, epoxy resin, because I wanted to have this shininess and this um, yeah, reflection surface like, like book covers have. So th this is one example of that time. Um, maybe I go a little bit further here. So this is, this is the next step I, uh, I took. I'm, um, this was a um, series of paintings I did um, that, are, that I derived from a, di a, a digital image which I played around at the computer until um, yeah, the, the fact that um, I, I, you know, at that time, maybe the computers did not, um, yeah, did not run that correctly like they do today. So there were some, um, some accidents occurred and some um, yeah, files crashed and they created strange, strange patterns, strange imagery. And I took that as an origin for my, uh, for, for my paintings. So um, I developed also at that time this technique to uh, put several layers on, on top of each other uh, and 
that worked quite, quite well with uh, epoxy painting because uh, uh, it's a transparent material and uh, you could do endless layering uh, somehow. And I enjoyed very much the fact that you, uh, it created a certain depth and at the same time the, the, the viewer, the observer also could reflect in the painting as well. Also the space and the architecture wherever they were shown. Um, now I go back. Oh. That gave me also the opportunity to, um, to conquer the space. So I, um, I did some installation where I, I covered the floor. For example, this is an, uh, this is an example of a um, museum show in a, in a German museum. And I covered the whole floor um, with, um, actually it was the, the original, it was a painting uh, of my, how do you say, of my home. And you cannot, you cannot really recognize it, but uh, uh, it was, um, yeah, it was the origin for, the, for this whole uh, floor, floor painting. Another example is maybe, whoop, yeah, so I also did this, um, yeah, ceiling, um, ceiling painting, yeah, to give the impression as if the, uh, the uh, color is dripping th uh, through the ceiling. Um, oops. Now we're at the beginning again. Um, recently, I, mm, I uh, since maybe five years, I'm trying to do oil paintings, which was actually uh, quite a, a difficult um, yeah, experience uh, in the beginning. Um, uh, I I actually found, came up to these uh, paintings um, through an application that was running on the on a mobile phone, and it turned any images I yeah you put in this uh, application in turn it turned into a kind of uh, a Van Gogh like brush stroke structure, and I uh, I found that very interesting, um, and so I tried to uh, take that. Uh, as an origin and to transform it in, into a painting. And uh, it was a similar approach like the, like the epoxy uh, uh, paintings I did before. So I, I also used my, my fingers to, um, to uh, uh, imitate that sort, of, um, that sort of structure that's, uh, uh, that this uh, algorithm creates. In my, sh uh, my image, I, uh, I have in this project, room you can see next door, relates, uh, oh, this is the last one, relates to uh, this um, kind of work. Um, because it also, um, I was, I'm very much interested in these patterns um, that, um, yeah, that uh, yeah, cre related to this uh, algorithmic um, software. Um, basically, uh, I hope we can clear up more questions uh, uh, in the in the conversation.